daily tea with me again Hi. and we're doing our AIT video which was highly requested on Fort Lee but first I just want to thank you guys for getting the last video to 10k views and I just want to wish a good luck to everybody that's in basic training right now so let's just watch this before you go so if you get it to 20k we would really appreciate it make another video about our duty station I mean, you so could, yeah, 10 more K. That's all you're asking for. <laughs> also, if you're on this video, then maybe you made it through basic. And also, congratulations to you guys as well. <laughs> so let's just hop into the video. So just a disclaimer, me and her had different AITs because she was there when there was instructors and I was there when there were drill sergeants because, you know, the soldiers were out of hand. Or whatever <laughs> no, the case, it wasn't me. Whatever the case may be, the soldiers were out of hand, so they, had, they felt the need to put in drill sergeants. So from now on going forward, we have drill sergeants at AIT now, but it's not as bad as how they were in basic training. So day zero for me, me and my battle buddy, I had the same one from basic, went to the same AIT, we was on the bus, just riding there, <laughs> defeated. <laughs> like always. <laughs> Another day. <laughs> just sad, <Okay>. man. <laughs> So as soon as you get off the bus, I was in Fort Lee. So as soon as we get off the bus, they make you carry your bags. You run around this basketball court. They're yelling at you. You know, the basic same thing. And then when you run around, you finally put your bag down. And they be like, "Where? what's your MOS? Da, 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 whatever. And then they separate you guys. So then we're in this long ass line to get um, registered or whatever. In process. In processing. Yeah. So you're in this long ass line to get inside the building to in process. And then after you get in process, you get smoked again. <laughs> so they made us low crawl. They made us do all this different stuff. And then they also do the thing where you dump out your bags. You have a certain amount of time. You know, you know the drill the by usual. now. The usual. So then after that, um, you go upstairs and there's different classes. So there's a freshman class. So in AIT, there's like a freshman class, junior class. And a senior class. And a senior class. So they're there like two weeks prior. Each class is separated by like two weeks or three weeks. So the fresh, everyone's watching us come up because, you know, we're newcomers or whatever. The other girls are like, you know, you got this. It's not that bad. We all like, shut the fuck up. We don't care. <laughs> Let me be great. Please. Let me go through this on my own. <laughs> but the good thing is when you go upstairs, you are, you're only having three roommates or two other two, roommates. Yeah. Three so the room. you're not in this big ass bay with 50 other females anymore. You have like a little bit more personal space. So that was how day zero was for me. My day zero was a little different than that because when I went, we had instructors and platoon sergeant, I guess. So when I went to reception, it was, I mean, to AIT, it was a little bit different because we had to go to reception all over again because there was way too many people from my class there. So we had to wait for the class, like senior class to graduate so they could send us there. So I spent a week in reception all over again. So I didn't get smoke when I got off the bus, but they just took us off the bus and they separated us by MOS, all that stuff. And then they told us, well, for Yankees, you guys are gonna be here for a, a week and a half because there's no space for y'all. So just get comfortable. <laughs> and then we went to this in process of reception. So we were there for like, we weren't even there for two weeks. We were there for like maybe four or five days. Cause we got there on a Thursday and we, I think I left, I don't remember, but we weren't there for that long. And then when I got to my actual unit, I got smoked a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, my platoon sergeant was like, okay, dump everything out. We got we got to the company, dump everything out, dump everything out, we dump everything out. And then, but one of my friends said, if you stand next to each other, that's gonna be your roommate. So one of my friends from basic training, we stood right next to each other because we wanted to be roommates so bad. And there's another girl that we wanted to be our roommate, but she ended up going all the way on the other side. So we stood next to each other and then when we dump everything out, we're packing up stuff. So when I was, I was so slow with everything I did, y'all. <laughs> this happened in basic. And they, I was so slow packing my stuff. So my roommate, the girl that wanted to be my roommate, she was unpacking her stuff and packing it again. So I could, so I could hurry up and pack Aww. so we could be together. And then she was like, hurry up, let's hurry up. And then, <laughs> and then I was packing. And then my platoon son started yelling at us again. And then they were like, okay, hurry up to get your room. And I was it. Like, we just got upstairs and we got a room assigned to us. And then we had to go back downstairs. 
but it wasn't like we didn't get smoked we didn't get nothing mm -hmm. but the next day she smoked us a little bit yeah. she made us run around the the big the big track the big track yeah for like a couple of days for like a couple of minutes it wasn't even that far but yeah that was my day zero in AIT for but for us we had we were assigned rooms by last name so it was alphabetical order so Damn. we didn't get to and they take your phones oh yeah they took our phones too okay confession <laughs> i didn't she turn my phone in. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't did. need okay listen you can control get away yourself. if you're gonna keep your phone control you can yourself, get away with keeping your phone because they it's a long line you can either say i didn't bring my phone or you could be like i don't have a phone whatever the case may be you don't have to turn it in just don't bring it to the schoolhouse that's why they take it now because in my class they allow us to have a phones but if you get caught in the schoolhouse with your phone that's a big deal yeah which i got caught but um if you're not supposed to go to school with your phone you're supposed to stay in your room when you go to school and then when you come back home you can take your phone and go to the um the defect is fine but in a schoolhouse no and don't even when you're on breaks like i'm not saying like don't be like oh but like don't trust everybody because people yeah, will snitch people, on you whew. they will tell on you so don't take out your phone during breaks in the bathrooms in front of everybody don't try to show it off so mm -hmm. if you don't keep your phone just be low-key about it but they're not gonna go through your stuff looking for anything if you say you have you real have battles them. yeah they could know but everybody in, the, in your platoon do not need to know you're taking your phone and that's how i got caught i got in a lot of trouble with you guys but <laughs> <laughs> but I'm dead. moving on to passes so in ait you have different passes there's red pass black pass and gold pass so red pass was the px only you go to the px and um you have like a certain amount of time to come back out they bust you to the px so it's like a bus you platoon back. you could you go as, as a platoon, platoon. Mm -hmm. and then you have a certain amount of time you come back and then like the rest of the day is over but the passes were just on weekends right yeah so the weekdays you go to school, the weekends you get like passes to do stuff. So then black pass, it was you and a battle buddy, and you, you guys stay on, post. stay on post. You could take a taxi cab, you get whatever food. Yeah, no, not civilians. That's oh, gold I lied. That's gold. Sorry. <laughs> Disregard. <Bring it> back. <laughs> so <laughs> you so, and yeah. this, you're in this uniform, mm -hmm. and you stay on post. Yeah, and then there's like a soldier center. There's all these little cute little places you could go to oh yeah stuff. this is big ass bowling alley it's pretty nice it's fun on the weekends and then for the last and final one is a gold pass which is like the last weekend so the red pass is like one week or two weeks it's two weeks the gold, the gold pass the black the pass black pass, black pass. It's <laughs> four weeks four weeks and then the gold pass is one week the well or two weeks one week yeah but true i don't fucking i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Of yeah, them. I just don't remember how long I each had pass them was because I had a special pass. I told you that even though my gold pass got taken, but I had a pass before. I had a gold pass before the gold pass. Yeah, so I think that's why it was. Yeah, good. it throws me. It threw me pass. off. It threw me off. Sorry, but yeah, that's how it is. It's the red pass, the um black pass, and then the gold pass. Oh the yeah. Gold pass is so the nice. red pass, that's when you're after the red pass is when you're supposed to get your phone back during black pass. Which oh, you know, really? for my people who get their phones, <laughs> it don't really. That's don't, really but no, for real. Um, the gold pass was chill because you get to be in civilians, and then it was so funny when you everybody. Go off was, yeah, you go off poles. You still have a um the mile Limit. radius, but it's so funny because like <laughs> the weekend before everybody get on civilians, you should see everybody on their snaps. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing because it was so funny. We all had our civilians on. We were trying it on for the next weekend, or like when we come from school, we're trying our clothes on, Aww. and just like, oh my god. <laughs> Moving on from the um, passes, every day we have a daily schedule. So every day, except weekends, you're gonna do PT. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are run days. Tuesdays and Thursdays are muscle, muscle failure, failure days. Um, the PT is better from basic training, in my opinion. It's not so strict, strict, strict. It's, I think it's more fun and more. It is more fun, but coming from basic training, you're gonna be like, what is this? <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh, this is easy. Yeah, it's like, way this different. Is, okay, this is more this chill. Is easy. It's more chill. And it's, they trying to make it fun so you don't just get bored out. Yeah. So, but I think for you, to coming from basic training, it's just like, oh, uh, okay. But you got to think this drill star and this platoon star, they've been there a year long. So they want to make it fun for yeah. them too. But yeah. So then after PT, you would get washed up or whatever, and then you march to the defect. Y'all, these marches were so different. 
I'm talking about like we we falling in with the rest of the group. Mind you, there's the whole high school class line we got. Okay, <laughs> remember that. So we falling in with the group, and they singing this these cadences that I know from basic with no ad libs <laughs> or class or <laughs> or stomping. In they doing all this stomp. Yes, like you doing all this stuff in this. In, Listen, just be prepared. It's gonna be just fun. Just be prepared. The world switch when you go to it's AIT. It's so different. It's like you're at a cheer camp. But, um, <laughs> That's it's so fun. True. It's fun though. I remember losing my voice from AIT. Literally, I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe the first week it was kind of strange when I see the marches. I'm like, uh, okay, yeah. that's not how we do things. I was like, but, I didn't learn this one. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like week three, I started being the same. Like I was doing the same. Y'all need the to sound off. And I was doing all the ad libs possible. <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's fun, I swear. guys. And I was doing all these, all the stuff that the class before me was doing. And then when the baby class comes, I'm like, y'all need to sign up. Yeah. I was doing the same thing to them. But it's fun though. So basically, after you get breakfast in the defect, well, you're gonna see all these other people like the Navy, the, Navy, the Marines, in um, different uniforms kind of cool it's cool because when you march past them you could call them out and stuff yeah they call you out it's kind of cool so then you march from the defect all the way to the schoolhouse go to school and then go back to the defect do that back to the and then back to school back to school again for, for and then the back last, to the defect and then back dinner. to the defect <laughs> and then back to the back to the common area field Berries, berries, whatever. Berries, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, and after that, they do mail call. So mm -hmm. for mail call, you can order stuff, y'all. These oh, girls yeah. are getting stuff from Fashion Nova. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? I don't. And you know what's crazy? I had my computer, but I did not order anything. I was just like, my roommate, she ordered some stuff for her son because she had a kid. Oh. She ordered some stuff for her um, husband. And I'm just like, what the heck? I was like, Mom, can you send me some? Like, I was still, I was literally still calling my mom and telling her to send me stuff, mm -hmm. not knowing that I could just go around right and buy it. Yeah, yeah. People were getting stuff from Amazon. That's when I got the idea. Okay, because I thought it was still. What do you call it? Um, not strict, strict, strict. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> allow me to have them so i was scared and i didn't order anything but Yo, you can have your tablet you can have your laptop they were having their parents send their computers this dude had a whole tv in his room i was like why but he was a holdover so that makes sense but <laughs> hold over but, but yeah you can order stuff and then have it the mail call they're not gonna check your mail they're not gonna check for contraband none of that you can get whatever you want you can just get whatever you want and then after mail call you get like an hour yeah, like an a hour free and a time. Half. Free time. So you can do whatever you want. You could go outside. As long as you have a battle buddy. Yeah, you have to have go a battle outside. buddy. With you at all you times. can't go off the company area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can be outside chilling. And then we have bed check after that. Like after that time frame, we have bed check. Oh, yeah. So, roll call. Yeah, roll call. What's it called? Bed check. Yeah. Before that time, the only thing I liked about it was we have to get information. We had to say the soldiers' creed. We had to sing the quartermaster song. We had to say not in my army, not in my squad. All these things we were saying, and it was so fun because like I used to I'm sound the fuck. Wherever I, I am, at home or abroad, I represent the American people. <laughs> Song. I, I used to sound off on the quartermaster song, y'all. You don't know it's okay. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not gonna sing it. Please. Where the teeth keep things moving, from the front and forth to hold. Where the soldier has a going, where the team you need the most. From the day you join the army, to the time you're home once more. If you had to shoot a right, the soldier fighting by the side will be from the quartermaster corps. to formations this is basically a description of the different roles that you could have at being an AIT or whatever so the first one we had is student first and he was like the acting first sergeant and then you have they PGs. overseas the student first oversees a whole company the whole and then it breaks down to platoon mm -hmm. but you have pgs like a platoon sergeant and then they have an apg with them which is an alternate platoon sergeant and then so you have a squad we, leader yeah that's true i forgot about that the squad leader and then the squad leader's first squad. So it's like they break it down where to the lowest level. Lowest level where you have to account, get accountability from each of them. Mm -hmm. So the, you basically take orders from the student first. Mm -hmm. 
So like, it's pretty much the student first is a re representation representation for first sergeant so like he'll get his um command from the platoon sergeants the the actual people the actual drill sergeants yeah, yeah. Like not <laughs> not us <laughs> and then he'll pass it down to the um the pgs the apgs and the apgs give it to the squad and the squad leader give it to its squad so like literally it give it down to where everybody should know what the fuck is going on yeah basically yeah so then um, at the schoolhouse, there's also like two class leaders. Mm -hmm. So you tell everybody when to get in and you know how in basic they're like, take seat. Yeah. And then you do that. Basically you say, take seat, you stand in front of the class. Did y'all do anything when you're in the class? Before like, you take your seats, you sing the, we did the quartermaster song. song. No, the quartermaster song, you're right. The quartermaster song and we do the creed. The creed. I am an American soldier. Oh, the soldier's creed, my bad. I don't that know one. why. <laughs> that, that creed does. <laughs> the creed i'm thinking which creed <laughs> which one was it again <laughs> i'm dead the soldier's creed and then they tell you take seat oh we had a class model well, ours see. was when my class leader said take seat we'll say sit down be humble it was lame but it was fun i like it <laughs> moving on <laughs> we had a model too but i can't remember ours it was take seat sit down be humble Anyways, it was fun. <laughs> but for as far as school, so you know your whole time in AIT should be eight weeks unless you're a holdover or whatever the case may be. You fail a test and you have to. Yeah, holdover. There's two, two, three reasons why you shouldn't be. A, you sh you might be a holdover. If mm -hmm. you failed, you get reclass. It depends. They could reclass you to a different MOS or they could reclass you to the baby platoon. Or you go in airborne. I don't know if they still do that, but when I was there. When you go on airborne and if they don't have a slot for you, you have to wait. Oh yeah. To get a slot. So mm -hmm. if airborne is like every some type of, I don't My know. My friend went airborne. It's she a period stayed like a week or two extra. Yeah. So if when you graduate they don't have a class and starting, you have to wait until their mm -hmm. class, or you just get an article fifteen. <laughs> Forgot about that one. <laughs> You're getting kicked out, bud. <laughs> okay. So as far as the test, we have a test every chapter so it's like bravo one bravo two so at the end of every chapter you have a test and mind you the test is open book and you can use your computer mm -hmm. well i mean open notes or whatever my, yeah open oh no mine was closed though but you could use a computer and the computer uh. was like the book but the thing is nobody was really taking good notes so <laughs> thank you yeah i no, you're right it's closed notes you can use a computer yeah. yeah, and then so I think the only reason they said closed note because like they'll show you what you about to test on, and if you take a picture of it, well, not take a picture because you don't have any phone. <laughs> if you write down everything, literally, like word you say, block A, this what goes there. The test is exactly like that, so that's why they don't want you to open your book. They rather you search on the computer, yeah, because the computer give you example instead of an answer. Yes, very true. So they teach you what you about to be test on. So much. um. For the booklets, some of the answers are already circled on them. <laughs> You're welcome. Look, and then for the, so moving on to the, your, your last two weeks of AIT, you know what I'm saying? You're the senior, now the senior class. You done ranked up, did all the work. <laughs> so the last two weeks, the first event you're gonna have is another FTX. Welcome back to the army. Dun -dun. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna do the FTX, but it's not gonna be as long Cause hers was only like two days. Mine was two days, and we went back to the barracks every night to sleep. Sorry, we okay. didn't sleep outside. Ours was different. <laughs> um, you're gonna have a weapon, but you're not gonna shoot. Um, you're just gonna, at all. We're gonna rock with it. So we rocked. I don't, for me, for honestly, quite frankly, it's blurry. <laughs> I don't really remember. Couldn't have been that bad. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, let me remind y'all something. In AIT, you do not go to the range at all. Okay, so you're not gonna ever ever shoot your weapon while you're in AIT. You're gonna shot blinks? Yeah, but you're not gonna actually shoot anything. Nope. So yeah, so when you doing the FTX, I think it's like two nights. I don't honestly I can't remember. And then you it's probably like a mile or two ruck and then we were, oh maybe that's why I think we rucked more than that. We did either five mile or eight mile something like that. It was a no it was a five mile ruck. But it maybe. was like we were rucking in circle to me. I don't know. And I wish I had cheated and I put all the weight on there. Cause they didn't even check. <laughs> um, but some people got checked. I didn't get checked, and I was so mad. I put all the weight on there. They tell you what to put on there, what to pack, 
But the reason they do it like that is because you really think you're going to sleep outside. They got your sleeping bag in there. You got everything in there. But you don't sleep. Well, I, we didn't sleep outside. We went back to the barracks and sleep the next day. We had to do it all over again. We didn't run again. outside. I'm sorry. It's okay. We went on a circle or a rucking because there was nowhere to go. Honestly, y'all, it's fun. I think it's fun. Not the rucking part or the it's not, part. The rucking part is not sucks. It's not like basic training, though. I tell you that It much. took me a minute because the whole the whole six weeks on there, it's all school, 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 MOS, MOS, MOS. And all when, this yeah, stuff in, you, you just hit go, me with a rock me. <laughs> I don't do like so that. So it took me a minute to hop right back into it. <laughs> but um, on the way back, you know what I'm saying? It was a light, light walk. Light, you Did y'all walk with your aisle TV? No. Okay. I don't know. Because that's different. You know, basically, you have to have your IOTV. Oh, outside. yeah. No, you know, we didn't rock with our IOTV. You don't do IOTV. that. That's what I'm telling you. It's easier. You have your assault pack. No, I had it on my rucksack. I had it on my rucksack. And my IOTV was not on me. Like, it was... I don't know. I think we had packed it. We were rocking it. But I wasn't wearing it. The whole time, I was wearing my flick. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I'm saying. It's easier. And then, um, after that, you know what I'm saying? You're basically done. You're pretty much. Honestly, after that part... It's like basic all over again. You know how when you finish, you got that breakfast in basic and then the drills start to cool down a little bit? That's pretty much what that is. You got a downtime. You're doing a little inspection. You don't even go to school. Or, yeah, the last week was very blurry because we didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, but guys, just so y'all know, you have an opportunity to go home for two weeks. It's called hometown recruiting, but you have to have no... um. You have to pass all your PT tests. Never fail the test. Never fail the test. Um, or and that includes retaking the test, obviously. Yeah, obviously. And um there is one more. No you article have 15. no article fifteens, no counseling, nothing. Basically a whole No negative record. counseling. Yeah, and then you could go home for two weeks. That's free leave. Let me when you join you. the army, you're gonna know how important that is. That is. Let me free tell leave. you something. I had fun in my two weeks, okay? <laughs> My sergeant, when I went back, was gone. So the person that I was working with was not the person that actually was my recruiter. Yeah. So he was an African man, and then this other <sighs> female lady in my board. Because <laughs> I wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun, man. I had free meal. I'm not saying. <laughs> you, I am saying it was fun, okay? It was fun. So yeah, if you wanted to get the experience, you know, just do good in AIT, pass all your tests, actually pay attention in class. I know it's gonna be boring, they're gonna PowerPoint you to death, you but actually sleeping. sit there and learn something. Cause quite frankly, <laughs> when I came to my unit, I didn't really know anything until I started actually like doing the work. And it is so funny, cause when you see the forms, you're like, damn, I remember Yeah, this. I learned something I about learned this. something like this. <laughs> you're like, man, I should've paid attention. No, seriously. But well, honestly, don't trip, because you're gonna le relearn everything. Everything. You back to Once you unit. get to your unit, it's a yeah. whole different scenario, cause you're actually gonna be doing what they teach you. It's not gonna make sense in AIT. At all. At all. Look, so if you're sitting there, you don't know what they're talking about, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> Just, sh sh mm -hmm. And then control F everything. <laughs> when you take the test, test, control F everything. Free game. There you go. You're welcome. So then after that, um, you have a choice whether or not you want to take leave. This is not the hometown recruiting. This is just regular leave that's coming out of your leave days. If you want to take leave and go home or if you want to go straight to your duty station. Me, I took like a week of leave. I went home for a week and then I came and went to Texas. I ain't gonna lie. If I didn't have hometown recruiting, I would have went straight to my duty station. I'm not gonna lie, cause I had no desire of going home. Um, and then finally, you guys, you're gonna take that last PT test. So you have like four or two? No, you have four PT tests or two. I'm not gonna. I don't, I, I don't remember. No, two. Two. Yeah, you take one when you got when you like one two weeks in, and then one before you graduate. Yep. And then that, that's the final thing you do, and then you prepare for the ceremony. You get your ASUs. Everybody crying, y'all. It's We're taking beautiful. Pictures. Everybody crying. I, I was remember. sad my, my cousin couldn't make it. And she told me she was gonna come. But it's okay. But anyways, that's all it is is for AIT. Um I hope this video very much helped you. And if you guys need another video or just have any questions for us, just comment down below and we got you. Thanks for watching. Bye!